Hello everyone, welcome back to Maxim Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can attach your company logo in your extent report. I have received one request from you guys that you wanted to see how we can attach the company logo into the report. I have one extent report here and you can see I have attached a logo. Similarly, you can attach an image, maybe your company logo in your extent report. So to attach the logo, let's see what we need to do. First of all, we need to download the spark config.xml file. This is the XML file and this is the URL from where you can download the spark config.xml file. Once this is downloaded, then we'll do some changes into the file to display the logo into the extent report. So you can download this spark config.xml file from here. Here you can see that I have already downloaded the spark config.xml file. So I'll go to this file and then here under this node report name, what we need to do is we need to add this tag C data and then inside this provide a tag for the image and then provide the source path of the image file. Here you can see that I have provided the path of my JPG file. This is the JPG file. It will pick this logo file from here and then this is going to attach this JPG file into the extent report. Similarly, you have to provide the file path. For now, I have provided this absolute path here. First, I'll show how this is going to work and then I'll show how you can provide the relative path as well. But in that case, you have to copy the JPG file to your result folder because let's say if you're going to share your result folder with your team or stakeholders, then the logo path you're going to provide in your report is not going to be available on their system. And in that case, you have to send that logo file as well as part of your result folder. Let us first generate the report with an absolute path. So first of all, you have to update this spark config.xml file and then add this data under the report name. By default, if you see here, we have a report name that is build1. This is the report name which is getting generated. And now instead of report name, you can attach your company logo there. Apart from this, we need to do one more configuration. I'll go to this hooks.cs class and here I have one before test run method. In this test run method, I'm going to use the load config method of the extent HTML report. This will load the configuration from an XML file and then the XML file is available here. This is the XML file which I'm going to read. So let me copy the path and then I'll paste the path here. From this file path, now it will read the configuration for the extent report. And in the config file, we have already modified the report name. We have modified the node which contains the report name instead of the report. And now it will display the image. So that's the only change we need to do in the framework. Here, if we don't load the config from the XML file, then it will use the default configuration. But if you don't want configuration to be modified, then you have to provide the configuration in this XML file. You have to change the XML file and then that configuration will be used while generating the extent report. Now let me run the test to generate the latest extent report. Right now I have these two report folders with me and once the execution is done, then I'll be having the report with us and the report will contain the logo or the image file. You can see a new folder has been generated. So let's wait for the execution to complete and then we'll have our extent report file generated over here. So execution is done. And if I go to the report folder, here you can see that we have this folder generated and we have this index.html file. If I open this file, then you can see the maximum automation logo is available here as part of this extent report. So this is how you can attach any image in your extent report. Now let's see if I do not provide the absolute path of the file in XML, then how we can attach the image. Here I'm going to provide the absolute path 
because the path provided might exist on your local system, but when you're going to share the report to the team, then on their system, they won't be having the file available at the mentioned location. So for that, I would suggest that you can just provide the logo name instead of providing the file path in sparkconfig.xml file. And then you can write a separate code to copy the logo file to your result folder. If I run my test now, then you'll observe the difference. So let me open this test, which was executed with the image name only. And here you can see that there is no logo available. Though we have an image tag displayed here, but it could not display the image because it did not find the image file. And the reason is because we have provided the image name instead of the absolute path. So when you are going to generate your result, then make sure you also copy the image file as well as part of the result folder. For example, now let me copy this file and then I'll move to this result folder. And then I'll paste the file here. Now this Maxim Automation JPG file is available at this location. And if I refresh this page, then you can see this logo is available here. This is what I would recommend instead of providing the absolute path, you can provide the file name and make sure that you put the file in the result folder. When you share this folder with the team, then they will also be able to see the logo in the report. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. Please put your comments in the comment box. Also, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Thank you.